Welcome to SDH's coverage of everything going on in MLS Next Pro. We are starting to determine who is going to be making the postseason. We have one more week of the regular season to go, and then the interesting playoff format. We'll find out who is in, find out who is out, find out who's in the balance as we go through everything that happened in the penultimate weekend of the regular season and get you ready for the last weekend of the regular season before we hit the playoffs. So what that means is is that we have to go backward before we go forward and lay out everything from the week that was. Friday Night Football actually had five games for you. NYCFC and Toronto FC. Toronto FC did not help everybody else below the playoff bar in the Eastern Conference. NYCFC had a 3-3 draw after 90. NYC got the extra point, winning 4-1 on PKs at Belson Stadium in Jamaica, Queens. And that gave NYCFC two big points in the Eastern Conference. Same for Chicago Fire and Orlando City B. They went after each other for 90 minutes, 1-1 draw after 90. Orlando City B got the extra point, 4-3 in PKs. At SeatGeek out west, Colorado Rapids 2 beat Austin FC 2. Los Verdos 2-1 at Parmer Field. LAFC 2 found the offense beating Portland Timbers 2-4-0 at Titan Stadium on the campus of Cal State Fullerton and Tacoma Defiance beat Real Monarchs 3-0 at Zions Bank Stadium in Harriman, Utah. That sets up our Saturday match and one of our early games of the week at the National Soccer Development Center in in suburban Vancouver. It was uh, Vancouver Whitecaps hosting San Jose Earthquakes 2. Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends at MLS Next Pro and Apple TV. And Aguilar in the middle with a very strong back line for this Whitecaps FC2 squad. Ochoa is in goal, and Emmy returns in between the pipes for head coach Dan DeGeer in his second season. And as we ready for this one, it's Vancouver in the white base uniform tops. And now keep it first and move right to left. Leads the team in crosses and key passes and goals this year, and shots on frame. One of the leaders of this team. Sends in this corner kick towards the back post, and it's headed in! And Earthquakes 2 has struck! Keegan Tingey has found the back of the net! Just like that, San Jose Earthquakes 2 takes the 1-0 lead here in the 10th minute! Offensively looking to attack when they have those opportunities. And here, Amanda sends in a service. Back post, double header. Perhaps it's in. Yes, it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Footed ball ahead. That was a strong one from mid-pitch. Combination, Tingy left foot. Stopped by anchor. Second opportunity, and it's chipped in. Left-footed service. Good ball is in, and it's headed into the back of the net. May have been fouled. Play continues. Tingy. Still Tingy, good reversal. Chipped out wide, Will Richmond. Richmond, off a deflection, crosses through, and it's into the back of the net. Move inside that playoff line at least until tomorrow. Perhaps they'll stay there. Looking for an exclamation point. Blancas chips and scores. In the area of earthquakes to goalkeeper Emmy Ochoa. Ochoa has a couple of hands and a push off on the player there. This one headed towards goal. Ochoa got a hand on it, and then it's buried. Not quite done just yet. I think the Quakes thought that might have been it. And there it is. That is the final whistle. San Jose Earthquakes to come in to Vancouver. 5-2 win for the Quakes. Big three points for them in the Western Conference, which sets up the traditionally very, very large Saturday. Seven matches, a lot with implications and trying to figure out the math of who can do what and be positioned where as we head into the last weekend of the season. Started out with a Crown Legacy 1-0 win against New England Revolution 2. The Revs finish their season. They're in the barn ahead of everybody else in the Eastern Conference. They will be the two-seed Crown Legacy. will be the one-seed 1-0 win at Mecklenburg. And then uh, our second match of the week in the East, Philadelphia Union 2 and Huntsville City Football Club from Subaru Park. Here's your highlights, courtesy of our friends at MLS Next Pro and Apple TV. Chris Donovan, Stefan Stojanovic will play key roles in trying to get a goal here in this match against Huntsville. Also join the starting 11 in the midfield. Keep an eye on Azad Liotti, 11 goals this season. In double figures for the campaign. Push forward into space. 
Donovan. Drack getting back. Takes down Donovan. And a penalty is given. And a yellow card as well. Drack in disbelief. He scored eight times this season. Jeremy Raffanello to put the Union in front. Charges forward. Bangs it off the crossbar. It stays out. Boomerang in. Flawless finish. Neil Pierre gets Philly Union their goal. Raffanello. Well-timed run, well-timed pass. Sullivan, first time through. Storyanovic. In the final weekend of the regular season, control their own destiny. Liotti draws attention. Liotti curling around one. He gets taken down, and a penalty has been given. And Huntsville has a lifeline. He measures. Trying to give Huntsville a chance in the waning moments. Azan Liadi pings the strings. Huntsville not done yet. Unable to do so again. And a foul whistle. And that's the final whistle. Philadelphia survives, and the Union are into the final playoff position with one match to play. So Philadelphia Union 2 helps those below by keeping Huntsville in check. But how much in check by the end of the weekend? We'll let you know coming up in just a sec. Columbus Crew 2 put four on FC Cincinnati 2 at Northern Kentucky University Soccer Stadium. Loons 2 well, won 3-2 over Sporting Kansas City 2 at the National Sports Center and a five-goal thriller there. Also on the board, it was uh, St. Louis City 2, 4-1 winners over Los Dos at the City Park. North Texas SC at Aviva Stadium. Beat Houston Dynamo 2 by the final of 3-1. And that gets us to the last match on the board. Atlanta United 2 in a must-win situation. Fell into a hole early and had to fight all the way back down 3-1. Here's how the comeback started for Atlanta United 2 and the PKs. Jason Longshore with the call on the SDH Network. Line at the top of the 18. Tiente with the right foot. 35 yards from goal. Wide on the right. Tiente chips this in. Back post. Headed down and in. Goal, goal, goal. Atlanta United 2. And it's Noah Cobb. The 18-year-old from Chattanooga pulls one back for the twos. And we got a ball game here in Kennesaw. 2-1 Miami leads. Tiente with his third assist. Cobb with his second goal. I told you all to buckle up a long time ago. Uh, I don't know what to tell you at this point because this game's going to get really stupid in the second half. Big switch to Centeno. Centeno on the right. Puts in the cross. Back post. Firmino goes for it. Goal, goal, goal. Nick Firmino. 16th of the year, Eric Centeno with the assist, and there is a lifeline in the 68th minute. The cross was put in, and Firmino was nowhere near it. Closed the ground faster than anyone to head that home. 3-2. Can they do this again? Miami trying to clear. Tumasi wins it back. Gloucester. Etienne. Loose touch to the outside. Still on it. Overlap from Vial. Inside to Kofi Tumasi. Top of the 18. Curler goal! 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 Kofi Tumasi! First goal of the year for the captain. It's 3-3. Atlanta needs one more. Kofi Tuomasi with the curler into the side, netting on the far side. He beats Jensen. It's 3-3. Atlanta's got to win this somehow. Nine more minutes to find another one. Miami going to the bench. Jensen back to his line. Adeniyi with the left foot. Whistle blown. What out of knee. Goal, goal, goal. Atlanta United 2. They win the bonus point. 
They don't get the three points they needed, though. The home season ends with a win, but not the right kind of win. A muted reaction from Atlanta United, too, as they get the bonus point. They win the shootout, but their playoff hopes are done. 3-3 after 90. Atlanta wins at 5-3 on PKs, but since Atlanta United 2 only got two points instead of three, they were eliminated from postseason contention with that shootout when they needed the win in regulation, didn't get it, so they were eliminated from postseason play. So let's take a peek at the standings and where things are right now. Once again, we mentioned in the East, Crown Legacy at 63 points, one match to go way ahead of the Revs. Revs are in the barn at 56 points. That's your one and your two. Now the fun part. We know that Crew 2 and Red Bulls 2 are going, uh, they are tied at 51 points heading into the final day of the season. Crew have one more win, 15-14. So what you need is if you are Red Bulls, then you need to basically better the result from Crew 2. You need Crew 2 to not match your result because Red Bulls would then have 15 wins and... They would be better in goal difference, 19-11 to 11 right now. But they right now have one less win. They need to win. Crew 2 need to lose. We'll get to the schedule coming up in just a little bit. Or not win in regulation. Red Bulls would then be the 3. Crew 2 would be the 4. Orlando City B is in the postseason. We just don't know where yet. Could be the 5. Could be the 6. They're at 43 points in 5th. Currently, Fire 2 are at 41. Philadelphia Union 2 at 39. That's your playoff bar. Now, it is... NYCFC 2 at 38, Huntsville at 37. That's the 7, the 8, and the 9, and possibly the 6, considering if things go a certain way. Philadelphia and NYC both have 11 wins. Fire only have 9 wins. If NYCFC were to jump over results, finish with 41 points, along with the Fire, they would win the tiebreaker because they have two more wins at present. Told you there'd be math involved. Hunt City can win and go in if those above them stumble, specifically NYC and Philadelphia. So Huntsville's in a must-win situation. Atlanta United 2 eliminated at 35 points. Toronto FC 2 eliminated at 29. Cincinnati 2 eliminated at 27. And Inter-Miami 2 currently 22 points and 27 matches played. In the Western Conference, Rapids 2 clinched the number one seed. Tacoma Defiance clinched the number two seed. Then it starts with the math again. Austin FC 2, 27 matches, 49 points. Sporting at 47 points, 27 matches. St. Louis City 2, 46 points. We know that they are all in the playoffs in some manner, way, shape, or form. If St. Louis City 2 stumbles, then the 5 and the 6 could be a battle between Loons 2 and St. Louis City 2. Earthquakes 2 with their big win right now. They're at 42 points. They are in 7th. Uh, Dynamo Dose, below the playoff bar. They're the only team that can jump into the playoff picture. They need a win and a San Jose loss to get into the picture. Everybody else is eliminated in the West. North Texas at 33 points and Whitecaps FC2 at 33 points. Timbers 2 at 31, Real Monarchs 31, LAFC2, and Los Dos both at 25 points and 27 matches played. So that is where we are when it comes to all of that. Team of match day 27, St. Louis City 2. Pro player of match day 27 is Leonardo Flores for LAFC 2 for his hat trick in LAFC 2's win over uh, Portland Timbers 2 back on Friday night. Pro top 10 power rankings for a match day 27, courtesy of the league their own selves, going from 10 to 1. It is OCB sporting Kansas City 2. St. Louis City 2, Red Bulls 2, Crew 2, Defiance are at 5, Austin FC 2 is at 4, Revs 2 at 3, Rapids 2 at number 2, and Crown Legacy at number 1. That's your power rankings leading into the final match day of the year. MLS Rising Star, match day 27, uh, Cage Romanshin Jr. for Loons 2, 18-year-old midfielder, Goal and an assist went a long way in Loons 2's win over Sporting Kansas City. Assisted on the opening goal, insurance goal in the 81st, and it was his professional account opener. Second ever Loons 2 player to earn rising star of the match day, joining Leo Kane in the award. So 
Uh, congratulations to all of those who were honored this past week. Carolina Corps has unveiled their brand identity, symbol of unity, strength, and tradition, and you can go to MLSNextPro.com and see what's uh, going on with it. Carolina Corps FC has uh, brought the brand identity forward, and it is a red fox, a sunset, mountains, Carolina Corps, and uh, the Blue Ridge Mountains is a part of it. Uh, CarolinaCorpsFC.com is where you can go and find out more information. And uh, CCFC have sold out several sections in their stadium, field side seating, suites, loges, all sideline sections, and 111 of the Catalyst Club. Carolina Corps is thrilled to offer fans opportunities to secure their seats with payment plans to reward their founding fans. Each season seat purchase includes a free game jersey. You can display your team colors for Carolina Core FC all season long. CarolinaCoreFC.com is where you can get all of your merch and all of the uh, the cool things attached to one of the new franchises, one of the independent franchises in MLS Next Pro. CarolinaCoreFC.com. Very, very cool stuff there. So you know your schedule or you know your standings. Now let's get into the schedule for the week of the last week of the regular season. Starts at 2 o'clock. All your Eastern Conference games are at 2 o'clock. All your Western Conference games are at 5. Crew 2 hosts Atlanta United 2. Atlanta United 2 can be a spoiler at Historic Crew Stadium. Crew 2 chasing after the 3 and the 4 seed. Huntsville and Chicago fire at Joe Davis at 2 o'clock Eastern. We know the implications there. Enter Miami 2 can be a spoiler hosting NYCFC 2 at Drive Pink. Red Bulls in Philadelphia Union. Philadelphia Union can be a spoiler for Red Bulls and help their own selves getting into the playoffs. OCB can get a win against FC Cincinnati, and they can solidify their spot in a game that means nothing. TFC 2 is hosting Crown Legacy FC. All of those are on MLS Season Pass. 5 o'clock in the Western Conference. Rapids 2, Loons 2 can only improve the Loons stock. Rapids locked up the top seed. LAFC 2 can be a spoiler going to PayPal Park to take on San Jose Earthquakes 2. Houston Dynamo 2 needs something on the road at Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California against Los Dos. Austin FC 2 can be spoiled at Choctaw by the homestanding North Texas SC. Sporting Kansas City 2, St. Louis City 2, Mercy Victory Field. It is that I-7 at that interstate rivalry, Sporting and St. Louis. We'll get into that one uh, this upcoming weekend at 5 o'clock on Season Pass. Tacoma locked in, Whitecaps 2. They need to uh, get a result to help themselves out at 5 o'clock. T2 and Real Monarchs at 5 o'clock once again at, uh, pay, at uh, Providence Park with uh, T2 and Real Monarchs. That one in the Western Conference has no bearing except on positioning and pride for the 11th and 12th ranked teams in the conference. If you are near any of these home matches for the final week of the regular season, please attend. You get to see the next levels of professionals who are trying to chase careers in Major League Soccer. If you can't be there, follow along on your local providers. If you're out of market and want to follow along, you can do so on your local providers and on Apple TV. Everything's on MLS Season Pass for this final round of matchups in the in the league before we get to the playoffs and the rather interesting playoff format. So we will continue to uh, roll all that stuff forward for you and uh, go through the playoffs and everything going on in MLS Next Pro. You're caught up officially with everything going on in the league. Your last review preview of the regular season. We'll start previewing the playoffs starting next week. So enjoy the matches, everybody. That is your rundown of everything going on in MLS Next Pro.